In this bite-sized tutorial, we are doing symmetric encryption using AWS Key Management Service. Hi, I'm Rafael, and this is Coder Cave. If you are new here, hit subscribe so you don't miss my new videos. AWS Key Management Service allows us to easily create and manage encryption keys that we can use in AWS products and our custom code. In this tutorial, we will first create a symmetric key, and then we will use this key in our custom Python code to encrypt and decrypt a piece of text. In the AWS console, we go to Key Management Service and we create a new key. For this tutorial, I will create a symmetric key, which means the same key will be used to encrypt and decrypt the sample text. As for advanced options, uh, I will stick with KMS. So we go next. In this step, we can define an uh, alias for our key and a description. I can also define tags, but for the purpose of this tutorial, there is no use in uh, doing that. So we hit next. And here we need to define administrative permissions. So who is the user or which is the role that allows manipulation of this key. For this um, key, I will assign my own user as administrator of uh, that key. The next step will um, allow us to define the permissions so which users and roles can use the key. Now for this tutorial, I will set my own user as user of the key or allowed to use the key next. Here we can review the IAM policy, we can make some changes if we wanted to. And then we are done. We have a new key that we can see over here. Now we will need the key ID for the coding part of this tutorial. And here to the coding part. So for this part, first thing we will need to import bottle tree so that we can easily interface with uh, AWS. Then uh, we need the ID of the key that we just created. So that for that, we go back to the AWS console and we grab this key and copy it in our code. Then, uh, then we define the code uh, of the method that is going to create a session and then use the session to encrypt a piece of text. So first thing, um, I will need to create a session here. So about a three uh, session session. And here I will pass my profile name. This is the uh, name of the profile of my local profile that has the keys that allow me to uh, connect to my AWS account. And here I create a KMS client. So now I have everything I need to start encrypting uh, some text. So I will save the um, I will save the result of the encryption operation into an object called encryption result. Let's say dictionary, and this is uh, going to be created by the client the encrypt method of um, of the KMS client. So I need to pass the key ID and some plain text. And of course, this is a tutorial, so I will say hello KMS. So this is going to be the, the text I want to encrypt. All right, so this is going to receive the encrypted string in, uh, um, in a byte array. So the byte array is going to be in the encrypted results using the index ciphertext cipher blob cipher text blob all right now i want to visualize the content of this uh, array so i'm going to base 64 encode it so we'll import base 64 and then i will print base 64.b64 encode of blob all right so we've got everything or almost everything we need to run this code. Last thing we need to invoke the hello KMS. 
Okay, so with this, we should have everything we need to run the code. So as a first thing, uh, we'll create a virtual environment with Python 3.8. Then I will activate it. And once activated, I want to install uh, Bottle Tree. All right, now that Bottle Tree is installed, we should have everything we need to run uh, this code. So let's give it a try. Oh, all right, looks like I made a mistake here. Uh, it's a cipher text blob. Let's run it again. And here we have our base64 encoded encrypted string. So this is going to be hello KMS encrypted and base64 encoded. So now, obviously, I want to decrypt this code, this, uh, this string. So I brutally copy pasted this and I will have it here. Okay, now to decrypt it, I can call the decrypt method of the client. And here again, I need to pass the ciphertext blob. Uh, but uh, I'm going to, to regenerate this based on uh, the encrypted text that I copied. So I'm not going to use this object. I'm going to use the text that I obtained earlier. So this time I'm going to do a base64 decode of encrypted text. Okay. And uh, final thing, I will print um, decrypted and I need to get the plain text index of the dictionary. All right, so with this, we should be good to go to again encrypt and then decrypt. And there we go. Here we have again the encrypted encoded string. Then we passed this thing into the decrypt method and we obtain hello KMS, which is our sample string. As you can see with just a few clicks and less than 20 lines of code, we are able to use AWS KMS to encrypt and decrypt some strings. Now in real life, you would use that to encrypt secrets that you need to share with uh, let's say AWS lambdas. Let's imagine that we have a Lambda that needs to interface with some API. Probably that third party API will give you an API key. You will need to have that API key available for your Lambda. So most probably you will have it in your template, but you don't want to add it in plain text because if you are checking that template into, let's say GitHub, then your plain text API key will be in GitHub and you don't want that. But if you use KMS, you will be able to encrypt that key, add it into your template, check it in into GitHub, and then your AWS uh, Lambda will be able to decrypt it at runtime. So this is very safe and it's also very simple to use. So what's not to love about AWS KMS?